Hi everyone, welcome to the first review that I'm doing of Season Glee. Um, quick one, so people might know me as Raccoonie or Raccoonie Plays things, but I've decided I just really wanted to do this, so I've made a new channel for it. Um, but I, I just really want to review it because I, honestly I, I, I need a re- <laughs> I need a rewatch and it's just a really weird show when you think about it, so I thought, you know, go deeper. But, um, so my plan is just review an episode of video, and then, obviously we'll get to the end, and then I'll review it all. Um, but obviously it starts with what I would consider to be one of the best episodes, the pilot, which probably actually doesn't say that much about it. So, this episode, de like, it aired May 19th, 2009, and... I mean, for a pilot, I mean, let's be honest, they didn't expect to actually get this that far. For a pilot, it's really, really good. Um, obviously, it introduced us to the main cast. Well, the main cast is in Rachel, Finn, Mercedes, Kurt, Tina, and Artie. It also introduces us to Sue, Principal Figgins, Emma Pillsbury, and Will Schuster. And then also introduces, like, kind of background characters, I guess, like Noah, Quinn, Santana... Terry, the characters who we didn't think were gonna go far. Um, for a pilot, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. I mean, Fox would have left it on a what if. You know, we wouldn't know what had happened to the Glee Club if it wasn't for the fact they picked it up. So, I mean, there's confidence with it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's really good for a pilot, in my opinion. So yeah, so yeah, the pl the plot of the pilot was basically Will Schuster, Spanish teacher, takes over the Glee Club because he wants to restore it to its former glory. Um, and obviously, the kids he recruits, they're very different. So he has the challenge of converting them into a team of talented singers. Obviously, Rachel Berry, Mercedes Jones, Kurt Hummel, Tina Cohen Chang, Artie Abrams. They weren't that much of a team when they first started. And then obviously we get on to the kind of iffy bit of obviously <laughs> he then heard Finn Hudson singing in the shower and Black Maids bails him. Um, which looking at it is probably we should have seen where Glee was going from that scene. But nonetheless, that's a plot basically. <laughs> so if we start with Rachel Berry, I mean Lee Michelle, very talented. Um, obviously, in this episode, you can see she's incredibly fame-hungry. I mean, putting a star next to her name, you know, it, it all kind of adds up. And from this, you can take away she wants to perform on Broadway, especially, you know, Funny Girl. She, her audition song was On My Own from Les Mis, so it shows that she is a really big Broadway fanatic. And then, obviously, the big song, Don't Stop Believing. It kind of solidifies who's a main character and who isn't. And obviously, Rachel sang one of the solos, and so that shows herself as the main character going forward. So, Finn Hudson, obviously portrayed by the late Corey Monteith, he was actually in a complete different light to the rest of the, the, like, the, main, the main five. And he was a star quarterback, and he also dated head cheerleader Quinn for Bray. So it kind of shows no ambition of joining the Glee Cub, and he only really did because of blackmail. Um, and obviously, like we just said about Rachel, he also sung well as a solos. And so it kind of shows that he's also going to be a main character going forward. Going further, Mercedes Jones, as portrayed by Amber Riley. She, she's a diva. And you can already tell from the beginning of the episode that there's a lot of clashes with Mercedes and Rachel. And I mean, that is evident going forward. But she, she was in the background of the song, so it shows her to be, once again, a supporting character. So Kurt Hummel, obviously played by Chris Colfer, he was sassy and flamboyant and obviously this is because the first part of season one he was closeted gay teen. But that just kind of solidifies who he is. And obviously he he's shown as an outsider. Obviously he was like in the first minutes of the show he was being thrown into garbage. So it kind of shows what character he is going forward. And next is Tina Cohen-Chang, as played by Jenna Auskovic. 
and she's just shown to be extremely shy with a stutter and that's basically it and I feel really bad for Jenna because Tina had so much potential but she was just wasted. And last is Artie, obviously played by Kevin McHale. He is the wheelchair bound member of the club and obviously it, it is worth noting that M like Kevin McHale <laughs> was completely able bodied um, but he has said that he, he doesn't think he should be playing a character in a wheelchair and if you know known what he knows now he wouldn't do it which to be fair I, I, I completely respect. Now this episode had five songs in it which was well five songs I'm basically doing it based off what was published on Spotify so it does mean you get rid of quite a lot of the audition songs um, so that means I think anyone who isn't the Rachel and Finn their audition song didn't make it basically. Um, so we've got On My Own, Can't Fight This Feeling, Rehab, Leaving on a Jet Plane, and obviously, the most famous, Don't Stop Believing. So On My Own, as as we previously mentioned, is from the motion picture Les Mis. And obviously, it was sung by Leah Michelle. And don't get it wrong, it's a great song, but I just didn't really like it that much. Maybe it's because I don't like Rachel as a character, but I, I would honestly give it a 4 out of 10. Next we've got Can't Fight This Feeling, which was sung by Corey, and it's by REO Speedwagon, and to be honest, I liked it. It isn't a great song, but I liked it. I wouldn't repeat it, like, over and over, like I do with some of the Glee songs, but if it's on, I won't skip it, so honestly I'd give it a 6 out of 10 for this reason. So next is Rehab, obviously originally sung by the late Amy Winehouse, and it was sung by the rival group Vocal Adrenaline. And obviously, some people don't like this song, but I really like it. Like, I would repeat this song. And honestly, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Obviously, I would give it more, but I don't know. It's just, I feel like 8 out of 10 is a good rating for it. Next, we've got Leaving on a Jet Plane. Obviously, originally sung by John Denver, but now sung by Matthew Morrison. I really hated it. <laughs> it just wasn't great. I mean, it was a pilot. We knew he was coming back. Because it's a pilot, you wouldn't leave straight away. So it just had no emotion whatsoever. They could have just not done this song, if that makes sense. Honestly, I'd give it a 3 out of 10, but it, it could go lower. And obviously last is Don't Stop Believing" from, obviously, Journey. But it was sung by all the New Directions, so the, the entire main six. Um, it's great. I mean, it's a, they've made, I think, three or four versions of this song. And it's the best one, because I think it actually sets in their journey. It sets in their goals. And it actually shows them as a team. And I think that's the best part. I feel like if it wasn't for this song, Glee wouldn't have... Fox wouldn't have ordered more episodes of Glee. Like, honestly, I think this is what made it. Yeah, it, it's a 9 out of 10. I, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but I feel like they repeated it too much. And sometimes it just lives in my nightmares. <laughs> So obviously the ending of this episode is the Glee Club uniting, obviously saying don't stop believing. And it solidifies the Glee Club's position as a team. And it really helps the viewers understand and separate the main characters and supporting characters. But it's just a really great introduction. Like, I I think they couldn't have read it better. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really great. And I feel like a 10 out of 10 is a good rating because it is actually one of the best episodes. And I know it doesn't introduce the extended cast, but it kind of just shows what's going to happen. And I think that's just really great about it. So yeah, 10 out of 10. And that has been my rating of episode one, season one, the pilot.